Ladies and gentlemen, Black Ops 6 multiplayer is officially here, and with the introduction of Omni Movement, things are going insane. And I know everyone getting on the beta is going to want to know straight away which weapon should they be using to level it up and put the most time into. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys the top three weapons you need to use in Black Ops 6 multiplayer. If you guys are brand new, definitely subscribe. We're going to be posting daily videos of Black Ops 6 here on the channel, tips, tricks, class setups, and just insane gameplays. And while you're down there, man, go down below and drop a like on the video. I'm kind of curious. Only only drop a like if you have played every single Black Ops game at least once, one through six. Alrighty guys, the first weapon we're gonna be taking a look at is the XM4 Assault Rifle. Starting out with the muzzle, short, simple, to the point, the suppressor, man, you're gonna be staying off the radar. I cannot stress how important it really is to stay off the radar in these newer Call of Duty games, especially in a beta like this, in a setting like this, where everything is new, people are constantly looking at the mini map to learn the map, learn the rotations, but also just to figure out spawn. So to stay off the radar, so you, whenever you shoot, it, you don't get a red dot every time, throw on the suppressor, it's gonna save you a lot. If you're crazy, if you think you don't need a suppressor, honestly, throw on the compensator. It's gonna help out with that vertical recoil control. So this thing is gonna be an absolute laser, and this is a really good option as well. But it's up to you. If you wanna be a little bit more stealthy, kinda go for uh, more higher streaks, I recommend the suppressor. If you don't really care about dying, if you're maybe gonna play the OBJ a little bit more, definitely run the compensator. Next up, man, for the barrel, we have the long barrel. This is going to increase that damage range by a lot. This is going to really improve your effectiveness when it comes to those long engagements. Some of these maps are big, like Scud. A lot of these maps have long lines of sight, especially on uh, Derelict, where you can kind of just look across the map above the train every and everything like that. So the long barrel definitely helps out. It's going to definitely pair up very well with an assault rifle. I checked out some of the other options. The reinforced barrel is not bad because you get that really nice balance between damage range and of course bullet velocity so bullet velocity your bullets are going to be traveling faster obviously hitting the enemies faster and improving time to kill so it really is up to you i would stay away from the short barrel you definitely don't need that you can use the gain twist barrel but again i really like that boost in damage range next up moving on to the magazine we have the extended mags this is going to increase that magazine size from 30 to 45 i can't tell you guys how important it is to have a bigger magazine in call of duty man in this game black Ops six a lot of these maps are small to medium sizes, a lot of tight engagements, and you're going to be seeing multiple people in a lot of different gunfights. So to make sure that you're not getting caught reloading and then someone comes around a corner and kills you, make sure to have the extended mag on. 45 bullets in the clip will definitely save you. Next up, man, for the rear grip, we have the quick draw grip. This is just going to increase the ADS speed a little bit more. Obviously, uh, you know, ARs compared to, you know, SMGs, the ARs are going to have a little bit slower movement speed, ADS speed. Obviously, SMGs in this game are going to have a faster ADS speed. So, like I said, a lot of these maps are small to medium sizes. You're going to be in those tight quarter situations sometimes, and this will definitely help out so you can snap on the enemy quick. In like 90% of gunfights, whoever has their sights aimed down first typically gets the kill. So having that ADS speed boost is definitely going to help. And finally, man, for the stock, we have the balance stock right here for a little bit more aim walking speed and movement speed. Overall, it's just going to increase the mobility a little bit more, but strafing in this game is very important, man. Omni movement is here and it's a huge learning curve. So having that movement speed, that aim walking speed, so when you're ADSing, you can move side to side faster, snap on enemies faster, and it's just gonna speed up this AR a little bit more. Now again, man, this is honestly a really, really solid class setup for the XM4, but if you wanted to, maybe you don't really like the iron sights because we're not rocking a reflex sight at all. You could take off the quick draw grip and then throw on an optic of your choosing, man. There's a few optics that I like. I kinda like the Merlin reflex, but it's a little bit weird. And then the Q spot reflex. I haven't even unlocked it yet. You have to use the AK-74 uh, and, and get it up to level 25 to unlock it. But this is kind of like your standard like red dot sight that you've seen in past Call of Duty games. So maybe try to unlock this. Definitely give the XM4 a shot. It's probably the best AR in this game. And uh, yeah, you'll do very well. You guys quickly want to know like my other class setup options uh, for the pistol. I actually haven't even really used the pistol. I think I'm literally level two. And then the other one's level one. So pistol I haven't been using too much. Obviously melee is by default. Of course, man, you got to run stim shots in this game. I think uh, people tested it. it takes around four four and a half seconds to like fully regain your health in a situation so if you have the stim shot boom you hit it you obviously heal up instantly you need that man this game is so fast paced got a semtex got an assault pack just to regain some more stim shots semtex and obviously ammo and then for the perks man i don't know if this is the best perk setup but i'm rocking all blue perks for perk one i got ghost obviously stay off the mini map we also got engineer just to see like if there's any uh enemy you know uh, 
equipment or anything like that. You can kind of see them through the wall. And then perk three, I have vigilance. And then obviously because we're running a three blue perks, we get a specialty perk, which is recon. And this is absolutely insane. It's, it's gonna flash that orange on my screen, kind of giving me an indicator when someone's like literally looking at me. So you can turn on them, you know exactly where the next enemy is gonna be. And then for my wild card, I'm running perk greed, which gives me an extra perk. And then I was running uh, dexterity, which honestly is really good. It will reduce the weapon motion when you jump, slide and dive, which I think is really important because you don't want your gun to be feeling sluggish. Next up, man, we're gonna be taking a look at the Jackal PDW SMG. This weapon, man, is taking the whole game by storm. This is one of the best SMGs to rock. If you're not using it, you're, you're easily missing out. For the muzzle, I'm gonna be rocking the suppressor. Once again, man, I love staying off the radar, keeping it silent, keeping it stealthy, and obviously working towards those high kill streaks. And the suppressor definitely helps out. Once again, if you don't think you need the suppressor, you could definitely run the compensator, get that vertical recoil control a little bit better, and that will definitely help. Next up for the barrel, honestly, there are so many different options. Uh, I'm running the CHF barrel, which increases the headshot multiplier. Now listen, the headshot multiplier bonus that you get from this attachment helps out the time to kill tremendously. If maybe you hit two bullets in the chest or, or maybe one bullet in the chest and then get a headshot, that time to kill is going to drastically increase. You're gonna feel so, so good with this weapon. Or if you don't think you need that headshot multiplier, you could definitely do the long barrel to increase that damage range or even the gain twist barrel to increase that bullet velocity so your bullets travel faster and then obviously increase the time to kill overall. Next up for the magazine, same thing as the uh, XM4, the extended mag to increase it from 30 to 40, you'd need a lot of ammunition, especially for an SMG when you're going to be rushing a lot. Next up for the rear grip, we have that quick draw grip to increase the ADS speed. This is amazing for SMG so you can snap on enemies faster. Obviously, having that ADS speed increase in close quarter engagements is going to really help you out in a lot of gunfights. And lastly, man, we got the infiltrator stock to increase that aim walking movement speed, which is going to be insane. You're going to be strafing back and forth. Very snappy, very fast, a lot of mobility with this SMG you're gonna be dominating in those close quarter engagements. You guys are wondering why my gun looks like this. It's just like a pre-order bonus. It's a Mastercraft, which looks really cool. But yeah, the PDEW, man, oh my God. If you're not using it, you're, you're seriously missing out. It is so good. Try it out, let me know. And lastly, but not least, we're gonna be taking a look at the C9 SMG, AKA the MP5. All right, man, starting out with the muzzle. You guys saw it coming. There's not many attachments in this game. So you're definitely gonna be seeing a lot of duplicates throughout the year of Black Ops 6, which honestly is fine. I don't really think there's any point to have like 20 different muzzles, 20 different barrels. You're scrolling through attachments. A lot of them do the same freaking thing. Next up, man, there are actually two barrels that I was running for this weapon. We have the long barrel, which is gonna really increase the damage range. I'm not gonna lie, it felt so good with this setup, but also you can use the gain twist barrel. Next up, once again, man, the extended mag. Boost that to 40 mag size. You're gonna be, uh, thank you yourself later. Except for the rear grip, we have the assault grip to increase that sprint to fire speed a little bit more, just be a little bit more snappy, get that mobility, get that handling up a little bit and uh yeah this is gonna feel really good and finally man there are two options you can use right now um one i actually haven't used yet which i'm really excited to but uh, for the fire mod i was running the parabolum over pressured uh rounds which is going to increase the bullet velocity even more obviously making it so your bullets travel faster it only increases it a little bit but i found out it really helps out a lot or like i said i haven't tried it yet but you can try it out yourself let me know what you guys think the rapid fire mod this is going to increase the fire rate of this smg I'm excited to try this out. I literally just maxed out the C9 like 20 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, something like that. So I'm kind of curious to see how this works, but yeah, I was running the uh, Parabolum over pressured rounds. This felt very good. Overall, man, the C9, the MP5 is easily meta. One of the best weapons you can use right now. It's actually really good for close range, of course, but also medium range. So my top three best weapons right now in the beta, some things might change over time. Obviously, maybe going into weekend two, they might put in another weapon that we want to try, but let me know what you guys think and I'll show you guys some gameplay. I was gonna look that from like the back of the map here. Oh, oh. What? Wait, I. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dead. I don't know where to go. Okay, I'm gonna have to push up. Okay. I don't know where these guys are spawning. Oh, in front of me. Okay. Come 
come on. They could spawn right here. Yep, that's a big spawn. That's a big spawn point. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is like a crazy spawn trap right here, if you guys didn't know. Yup, this is a crazy spawn trap. I need ammo, though. I'm gonna throw this. Okay, that guy. Okay, I let that guy go. I got a double kill, though. Gotta reload. Come on, keep pushing. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Okay. They're gonna know I'm, I'm camping here, though. That's the only bad thing. I'm on a tw oh my god, I'm on a 20! I didn't even realize! I'm running out of ammo, though. Yeah, I have to... Oh! Oh! No! 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 Damn it! This guy was so after me! 25 and 0! Are you kidding? I was getting so nervous, bro. Wow! Dude, this MP5 is ridiculous, man. Where do I even go? Yeah, this thing is hitting. That spawn trap, though, I don't know if they're ever going to fix that. Because, like, this map is already kind of small. I don't even know how they would even fix that spawn trap. And, like, people, obviously, like, there's two ways to move out of that spawn, but people just don't. It's so funny, but people just don't move. They just keep running forward. Hold up. They might actually still spawn here. Hop this UAV. Come on, bro. You cannot jump over that big wall. I'm dead. I need to reload. These guys might push forward. Another one there for sure. They're going to keep spawning here. I got a helo. I got a helo. No! Yo, these guys are, they're catching on, bro. They want me so bad. Okay. I don't, I don't think we're dropping a nuke this game, unfortunately. But, oh, wow. They have a trophy system up there. I'm dead. The freaking full team is here. Yeah, I don't think I'm dropping a nuke this game. I'm going to try and streak up again. I can't. I'm having such a good time, though, on Black Ops 6. I really am, except for the freaking packet burst. That's gotten a lot better. Like, I don't get it nearly as much. I'm dead, but I, the packet burst issue needs to go, as you guys can see. Like, why am I lagging? Look at this. What is going on, dude? I have literal perfect internet. A thousand up, a thousand down. I never had these issues on MW3. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are having packet burst issues, man. It is the most annoying thing because you'll be in such like a tight, sticky situation. That sounded so weird, but... Like, you'll be in a situation where, like, you then lag, and then you're like, oh, I'm chalked because I'm lagging. Like, awful, awful energy, awful vibes, for sure. Okay. I am so dead here. Like, why? Why did I just lag there? Dude, sitting on the freaking head glitch, man. I'm dead. I, I, I. This guy might actually come around, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Okay, I got a UAV and a counter. Bro. The packet burst! Trerk, please fix the packet burst. I'm, I, I, I don't know who I gotta pay. That could have been insane. Oh my god, dude. That might be play of the game. That guy's a bullet. This was such an insane match. I can't believe I got on a 20. I actually cannot believe it. shooter. That, no, absolutely insane game. We popped off. We got on a 20. Choke the nuke. I can't even see. I, my, just kill me. I can't see. Someone stole my kill. Yo, the freaking pack of person got so bad towards the end of the match. I don't... I don't like it. I hate it. I hate it so much, man. If anyone knows a fix, please let me know.
Where are my bullets? Where are my bullets? Okay, we're getting triple capped. We we actually might lose this game. It, it's crazy, but we we might lose this game. They have a freaking helo up too. Where is my team? I'm on, I'm on B. I'm on B. I'm trying to play the OBJ. I'm trying to play the OBJ. If we capture B and also have C, we win. Genuinely, we win. I'm dead. Oh my God. I'll have to drop a like for that. I played the OBJ. I'm an objective player. We also got on a 20. I, I, I don't even know how many kills we dropped. I was just spawning. We almost dropped 80 kills, bro. 4.16 KD. Uh, best play as well. Yeah, let me see. Ooh, ooh. Omni movement? Nah, doesn't matter. Wait, you're capping B? Yo, no, you're not. You're not anymore, okay? We're on the corner. Reload. Just get that safe reload and get the quad. See you later, weed. Peace out. Yeah, weed is sending me a friend request. And you know what? I'm going to hit him with the shush. I'm going to hit him with the shush. Calm down.